Yes, yes, yes. Hey y'all, Jim with Simple Life Tennessee. As you guys know, this channel was formerly Boneyard Wildlife. We made some great and amazing memories over the last 18 months. So this will be the final episode of that channel as we start to transition it to Simple Life Tennessee in the beginning of July. This will be the best of Boneyard Wildlife. We appreciate all the love and support that you've shown us. And as always, we'll see you again soon. Same time, so I am aiming for the circle above the head. Off just a little bit. I'm gonna take another shot. Okay, let's walk up there and see what we got. Well, if you want to have a grouping that's tight for archery, I mean, that's pretty good. I'm not going to break my arrow on top of each other, but I'd say that's pretty good. We're going to make an adjustment. I seem to be shooting to the right. That last one was perfect, so we're going to see if we need to take that shot one more time. Well, guys, I don't know what to tell you. Other than splitting your arrows, and I wasn't, tr I was doing my best to not split the arrows, I don't think you get a tighter group than that. Hey, y'all, we are out here getting another spot cleaned up for deer season. Guys, you got to be careful. We are looking as we're raking. We came up on a bumblebee nest, a threat to their nest. They'll let you know it. So, we're going to get some pictures of that. We're going to try to continue to work on the outside of them. Treat all of God's creation with respect and they'll respect you back. If you guys look as we work on this more over the next several months we're going to be able to bring a four-wheeler up through here but this actually makes a really good hiking trail we did it for a hunting stand but over the years i'm sure we'll use this for numerous different reasons maybe shoot a big old buck or something yeah. all right y'all we've made it to the top we've cleared the area out we're going to show you right now how big this oak tree is that we're going to be putting the tree stand on. Hey guys, as promised, we are back out of here. You guys saw the first video. And if you look right over here, go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Mike from Arigo Outdoor Adventures. He's my brother-in-law, an amazing man. He's going to help us put it together. We're going to show you how we're going to do that.
y'all the tree stand is up and she is secured we got the ratchet straps on her I always go more the more ratchet straps the better you see that we're doing the shake test she does not move let's go on up in the tree stand and give you guys a little shot of what we have I still need to clear shooting lanes so this is about 25% ready for deer season because right now with archery I have one area I could shoot into this is the view from up here I've cleared some branches out and trees out of the front there we still got some shooting lanes to clear here but we got a while before it's rifle season so and then there's the main trail all right y'all i hope you enjoyed this video of us putting the tree stand together with mike from Arigo outdoors i appreciate everyone's hard work that went into making this video mike Arigo, heather uh my sister annie for letting mike come out here and help us i appreciate all you that tune into the channel every day and, and support us good morning y'all it is january 1st 2024 we're here in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. Guys, there's been a lot that's happened in 2023. A lot of great things, a lot of adversity, but we just pushed through it. Not this season we were expecting, but uh, January 1st, New Year. Got out here early this morning and uh, was hoping for some early morning success. And sure enough, to my left side here, I had three doe come in. Once I got to the top of this flat, this bluff up here, I was able to put a nice shot on the biggest one. Let's climb down, let's go recover. And uh, let's see what she looks like. That's a big doe. Look at that. Yep. There we go. All right, y'all. I am very happy with this harvest. Got a nice, big, beautiful doe down here. Now comes the fun part. Got to get her cleaned up and drag her all the way down the ridge. The other deer continued up the ridge here behind me. There's a bedding area up there. I was hoping to see one of the bucks come down, but uh, we're gonna get her checked in first, then get her processed, get her back to the house, get her on ice. Hey y'all, welcome to Boneyard. We are out here in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains in East Tennessee, and we are going to be picking, I don't know if you guys see in the background, but I'll zoom in here in just a second. We're gonna be picking wild blackberries. We found them throughout here. The great thing about them is, well, if you eat blackberries or you've had blackberry pie, cobbler, yogurt, anything that has blackberries in it, they're delicious, they're great for you, but they're such a vital source of uh, forage and nutrients for the wildlife out here as well, and it's helped the wildlife. There's so much of it that a lot of it is falling and going to waste. So we're gonna harvest what we can, we're gonna leave the stuff that's not ready to be eaten for the wildlife, and we're gonna show you some of that footage right now. That's kind of some of what we're picking right there. 
I will give you a uh, closer look at one of the bushes right here in just a second. What we're looking at here is these are your blackberries. If they're red like this, they're not ready. If they're not completely black, they're not ready. So what we're looking for is you're trying to find one that's almost completely black. That one would work. Uh, that one right there would work. That's what you're trying to harvest. If it's not like that, I would not pick it yet. Matter of fact, a couple of these probably could have stayed on there a little bit longer. One of the things you have to consider is when you're going to go into these bushes that you also have the insects that are out here as well. So you are going to encounter ticks. You're going to encounter just about anything that's going to be living on these plants. Spray down with DEET, spray down with Repel. There are some natural based stuff out there that you can use. But also when you're reaching in here, the other thing you want to look at, we're going to zoom in here for you, is this will hurt you more than anything else. Those are briars. All right, y'all. That is what we we're talking about. I know it's a quick video. We just want to get out here and give you a different perspective besides just all the trail camera stuff. These are out there. Go find them. They're delicious. If you have them in your area, try to prune the other stuff away from them. Let them prosper. Let them grow. It's good for you. It's good for the wildlife.